All right, let's do this. Ooh. I mean, I, I can maybe work with this. I'm going to be honest. I can maybe work with this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to buy both of these. We have eight gold left. We're going to buy the pig. If I can roll... Uh, okay, not the best... <laughs> not the best roll in the world, but I think... I think I'm just going to have to work with this, honestly. Um, what I'm thinking I want to do is possibly buy garlic, right? And buy pocket sand. I think, I, I, I'm hoping this will be enough to win, depending on who I'm going in. Ah, definitely not gonna be enough to win. We're taking this L, we take, we definitely taking this L. Okay, rough start so far, but we might be able to, not taking an L? Quite, I don't know how. I don't know how single DPS won against double DPS. No idea, but we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. There was a coal and I needed to turn this into a torch. I am sad, but we can still do this. We can still do this. I want to buy the pig, but we need double DPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this broom. And I think we just sell pocket sand for this pig. I think that's the best play that we could do. Double DPS, double economy. I'm getting that banana and I need to turn this into a torch. So the next coal we see, we need to buy similar builds actually. Um, but I don't know how we won that either. Is it because of regeneration? I'd say it's because of regeneration because they had better, they had more triggers on storage coffin. Not to mention they had double flying Arlick versus our single flying Arlick, right? Um, but we won by like nine health. I'm assuming it's because of regeneration. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's see here. Um, There's the coal we need. We have seven gold. We need space to fit this banana. And I think we just get this coal. Turn that into a torch and then probably move this up by one. See if we can uh, utilize this space a little bit better somehow, some way. Um, there's a better way to do this. Right there, there's, right. Like there's, there's, there's a better way to do this. There we go. There's the better way of doing that. Okay, so we'll do this. Turn both of those sideways, put that up there and buy one more banana possibly i'm just gonna buy that just to buy it since it's on sale and i'm gonna get one more banana just because i have double dps I like to use double bananas when i have double dps always just for the sake of stamina going against somebody with a shield you know what i mean like it helps definitely helps a lot mm, barely won that one health left three wins in a row is really good though so like that's pretty solid we have a pretty solid start give me that gooby on tell is pretty good but i i don't think it's gonna work with the build we got going on and i also want to rearrange so we're just gonna wipe the slate clean here. Um, thinking about getting this, actually. Yeah, we'll get this pig. Triple D, triple economy is pretty solid. I like triple economy. Um, we're gonna put you here, and all the pigs can just go in the back here. Some situation like this, and then we're just gonna have our food items up in here. So we'll do boom, boom, and then boom, boom. Which I don't know which one of these is better, to be honest. But I guess we'll just do that, and then that can go there. And that's pretty solid. We got double DPS, triple economy. We got stamina. We got, you know what I mean? Like we're doing pretty solid. They have a flame. They also got pan. Their DPS is pretty good too, to be fair. Huh. If we survive long enough, we should win this due to just poison, which seems like it's going to be the play here. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a play, especially since they're out of stamina with their pan. Yeah, definitely play four wins in a row. We should be taking an L soon. Now, it's a good thing we found this oil lamp because we can turn that into a flame uh, torch, which should help us out um, in our survivability, right? Let's see here. What do we want to do here? I say we buy space. I say we buy space and then we just buy this blueberry. I think that's the best play we could have done right there. Um, and do I want to, which one has higher DPS? They're both 1.8 a second. So I guess it doesn't really matter uh, which one of these I put this on. Probably the thing that hits faster. So this, this is a 1.4 versus a 1.7. I guess that's the best play we could do. Um, and then we can probably just turn that sideways. Since the blueberry is faster than the banana by default, it's probably better to put that inside of the storage coffin instead. And then we'll just roll with this. We will just roll with this. Wow, chain whip already. You're going for a second one as well. I think we lose this. I don't, cause he's got chain whip. But then again, his stamina sucks. So there's that. His stamina sucks. Yeah, we still lose. We still lose, unfortunately. Good game, though. Good game. Oof. Okay, now we got our burning torch, which is Poggy. Um, 
We have a total on sale, which is amazing. We need to find a mana or mana orb on sale, which is amazing. Let's get that. Let's get you. Should I roll here? I mean, we, we that, that was a really, really, really good turn. That was a really good turn. Um, we could just roll with this. Honestly, like that was a phenomenal turn. This is this is this game is looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, this game is looking pretty damn good right now. Um, armor, eh, he's got armor, plus not to mention that the spikes situation is a thing, but with us having Burning Torch, that's gonna be our main DPS. Like, this thing is already 8.1 a second, or just the 3.2 or 1.9 of our broom. Like, that DPS, like, that's gonna carry us a good little minute. Now, if I can get the heart one, that'd be great. Didn't get the heart one, and I, I mean, refund 20% of the buffs used. Considering we're gonna be using buffs, could be good. So, I guess we'll keep it. Um, pfft. already, I take this. I take this because next, I mean, our mana generation isn't that high. Like, we only got a blueberry and a toad. That's it. But even so, like, I say we still take it and we take that too. Yeah, I think that's the, yeah, I think that was a good play. So, I'll go boom, boom. That can stay on there. I actually don't. Wh whichever one does the most damage next round, I say, is what we put this oil lamp on. Because the thing is, we don't have really, we really don't have enough mana generation for this guy. And this guy is a 30% chance to gain one damage. So I really don't know who's going to do the most amount of damage at the end of the game. And usually the weapon that does the most amount of damage by default is the one you want to put the increase in DPS on, right? So we'll just have to see. And I guess I'll put this on... Um, I don't know. I could move this up here like that and then do this. And then move this here. I don't know. Or I could just simply just do this. <laughs> like that that works. That works. Awesome. Um and yeah, we'll just roll with this. This is looking I'm not going to lie. This is looking decent. Especially with this guy's got a pretty crazy poison build. Pretty crazy poison build. We beat this guy. That's saying something. We'll see though. We'll see. What's our DPS like? 5.9, 6.3. Oh yeah. Ooh, a 38 critical at the end there. Nasty. But now we got our unhealing staff. Give me a giraffe. Didn't get a giraffe, but I'll take this. I'll definitely be taking that. I'll take this on set. Why not? And don't need anything here. I'm looking for a giraffe. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. What are we gonna sell? Probably just sell this. Cause we don't really need the regeneration i just bought that just to buy it so we yeah we don't really need the regeneration sell you get giraffe um and we're gonna need the deck of cards uh i guess i'll just put this here i don't really know if i like how that is that needs to go there i guess i could do that that works that will work. Awesome. Beautiful. That will work. We need space. We definitely need space, but this is looking pretty damn nice right now. Oh, they only got a broom. We win. We win. There's no way we lose this. With them only having a broom, there's no way we lose this. We need way better mana generation. Our mana generation sucks. We just now activated that thing. Plus, our stamina is pretty lacking, too. It's because we're at a 1.5 a second now, so the 1. I think, 2 or 3 or something like that. But I mean, we're still doing pretty solid. This thing was doing 13 damage a second. Staff on the healing was 200. Damage dealt, burning torch, 108. Nice. Okay, mana generation, space. Didn't get what I wanted, which is okay, I suppose. Okay, we're getting our ruby egg next round. Definitely getting the toad next round. Getting both of those. Especially with the money we have. Um, This will go here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that's looking way better. I wish, I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like I should make this faster. Make the blue or make the bananas faster just for the sake of stamina usage. But we'll see what happens next round. Now we might be selling some food. Like we're in a good space right now where we could, we could sell some food, honestly. Um, we might even generate enough mana to even sell the burning torch, maybe? Maybe, maybe we'll have to see. And it's a good thing we have like that 18 blind is insane. 
insane. 35% accuracy. We literally, we only won because of the staff on the healing right there. Only reason. Look at that. 100, 100 damage versus 33. Like, that's the only reason we won because of the staff on the healing. Otherwise, that would have been an L. 60 gold is, I mean, 20. 20 gold is insane. Give me this, give me that, and we still got money left over. I need space, though. Got the space. Should probably sell something here. We will be selling. I say we sell garlic. I mean, we don't need flying garlic. Fuck the flying garlic. We don't need flying garlic. I'm gonna buy you, and I kind of do want to get this customer card. We don't need healing herb. So yeah, selling healing herb, getting the customer card. Hopefully, I just I need more toads, and we need more giraffes. That's the only reason I'm getting this customer card. Um. So yeah, that's gonna go there. Toad goes there. It's a little bit of an awkward situation that we have up here, but I guess we could just swap a roo like so, and that'll just be good. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that'll just be good. And we're getting so much money, I kind of do want to reserve Mr. Struggles. Two Mr. Struggles realistically is all you need. Three is not insane. Oh, we need another mana orb though. Yeah, we need to focus on that mana generation, honestly. I mean, we're doing pretty decent right now, but it's definitely not great. By any means, it's definitely, definitely, definitely not great. Can I win here? Oh yeah, we're, ooh, it's getting close, it's getting close. Ooh, 17. That was extremely close, extremely close. Another toad. I need to take it because the toad equals healing. Toad equals healing, so we take that. This we need. Okay, we're gonna make a risky play here. And I hope we don't regret it. We're gonna sell Burning Torch. Selling Burning Torch just because it's using up our stamina. Only reason. Just because it's using up the stamina. And honestly, a heart container on sell is kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we're gonna put you, cause we need to focus on healing here. And that's our damage, right? That uh, heal for 12, that's what we need. Which is the 10 buffs gained. Which the only thing we're gaining buffs from, well, the main thing we're gaining buffs from. I just realized Mr. Struggles wasn't even on anything. User error, um, skill issue. But anyways, we're gonna put it on there. Just so it's on the giraffe for equals more healing, right? We're also gonna move you up here. This doesn't really matter anymore, to be fair, because I can't put it on anything, but I will keep it for the heat. That's the main thing we're keeping it for. And uh, this can just go here. That's looking good. That can just go there. Um, and then we could do something like this here. Um, that there and there. This needs to go somewhere though. I don't have enough money for that. I mean, realistically, no, it doesn't. It doesn't really need to go anywhere. Because we we can utilize this for the heat, too. Because we're getting four heat from there. As long as we have more heat than mana at the start of the game, we're fine. What a burst build. We might lose this one. Purely because it's a burst build. Only reason. Wow. We got super low there. Incredibly low. That was risky. Okay, we got a ruby well. Get space, get this. Six gold. We kind of need more space. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. I'm going to roll one more time. Do I need another one of you? No, I need to focus on giraffes and mountain generation. Giraffes and mana generation. That's the only thing we need right now. Giraffes and mana generation. Giraffes and what? Mana generation. That's the only thing that we should be focusing on right now. Um, other than that, we don't need anything. Realistically. I'm going to just put you right there. Like, that's not a horrible spot. Um, Can you go somewhere better? Not really. Hmm. I guess you could just go there. Just put you right inside a storage coffin for the, uh, for the sake of poison generation. You should be fine. And then that can go right there. Boom. Um, extra space. I guess we could just use you like so. Um, kind of want to put the banana somewhere, right? Realistically. Oh, I need to upgrade here too. So, hmm. let's switch those two around. Move this entire board to the right by one. You can go down here. And we'll probably do 
this? Like that? Okay, that works. That works. I'm just going to move you down here. And then... Yeah. Because we're not really using up our stamina. So the bananas is kind of just like whatever. To be fair. And then this can just go up there. Awesome. Then I'll buy that. Fuck it. I'll buy it just because... Just because. <laughs> just because. Just because. Oh, another healing build. It's not an unhealing build, but it is a healing build nevertheless. Not to mention Capitalist Comfort is going to hurt us. A lot, to be fair. But with us generating infinite heat, we need more giraffes. Look at the amount of uh, clovers we have right now. We definitely need way more giraffes. Oh, this is going to be a good battle. This is going to be close. Nice. If he had double blood uh, or uh, hungry blade, if he had double hungry blade, that would have been a different story, I think. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. We're definitely selling some stuff here because we don't have enough space anymore. Um, so that's going to be a thing. I'm surprised I haven't seen another mana orb. Our mana generation sucks. It's a good thing we have three toads. Because those three toads is realistically what's generating us um, all the mana that we've been using, realistically. Um, So that needs to go there. I'm just going to move all of this. That can just go there, just because. And that'll work. You can go there. Uh, and this can go here. That looks good. You're going to have to go in there. And... Don't really have a spot to put you. Well, I guess I could put you here. Boom, boom. No, that's weird. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, never mind. Not weird no more. Okay, um, that can go there. We're gonna move you here just because we need you on both giraffes. And then boom. And boom, boom. This is looking really good. I'm not gonna lie. Five wins. Like, this was a really good game. Really, really, really good game. And then this helps as well with the refund of 20%, just for the mana generation. Because, like I said, we don't have a mana orb, so it's like we're kind of struggling low key. But this, combined with the triple toads that we got, I. Ah, mana orb or not, we are, we are making it. Ooh. Why did I have to go against this? Why, oh, why did I have to go against this? Ouch, 40 damage critical on me hurts but we're healing it though we're healing it we're healing it those toes are going crazy man come on oh, i thought that was a mana orb i was about to say you rescued me another giraffe will take we'll take anything manage anything manage we'll take that too anything mana generating we need i should probably sell the pigs now because like realistically do i really need them right now anymore like I mean, our build is kind of here already. I don't really need the pigs. I don't. I don't. I don't feel. Well, I mean, we have five rounds left, so like, I mean, maybe. But at the same time, maybe not. Um, I don't need this anymore. We have enough toes and we have enough giraffes at this point, so I could sell that. Selling that, and possibly just selling a banana, because we don't need two bananas. One banana is fine for 0.8 stamina usage. Buying that just because I need to put that there. So, like, that's enough healing. Like, we sh realistically speaking, we shouldn't lose any more games. Like, we're not taking any more L's. Unless it's a burst build. If it's a burst build, we might lose. But if it's a longevity build, we should win. Let's just not go against a burst build. We should win. Versus a busted hammer. I mean, busted, uh, busted blade. Unless he one-shots us. He can one-shot us. Ah, okay. <laughs> Woo, did 120-something damage there. Oh, and we got a... Okay. And we got a mana orb. I say we buy Glowing Crown for protection versus a burst build. We also need the mana generation. So we're buying this for mana generation. Buying this for a burst protection. Um, And we just sell a pig. We just sell a pig just so we can afford this. And we're putting this here. And that just leaves this spot open for that, which I guess we could just put that there just for the sake of, you know, making it faster. And yeah, that's, that's looking good. That's I'm so glad we got that mana orb. Okay, longevity build. Pyromancer Excalibur. We win. We win. Yeah, we definitely win. 100% chance. 100% chance. Oh, it's game over. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Game over. Good game. 
I kind of do want to go against a burst build now. Just to see how we stack up against one, you know? Just to see. Just to, you know what I mean? Just to see if the build is as good as I believe it to be right now. I kind of want to buy another. I mean, I have three Mrs. Struggles, and they're all triple, triple tiered up right now. I really don't need another one. What do we need? We just need burst protection. That's it. That, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's literally all we need is burst protection. Any glowing crowns or capper resiliences that I see is what I buy. Oh, I can't roll anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's all we need. Burst protection. That's game. Or maybe some, um, some of these would be nice too. Interesting. I say we still win this though. Whoa, you're doing a lot of damage to me, brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did we lose? How? The poison, maybe? How? I actually don't know how we lost this. I actually don't know how. Maybe because of the cold? No, I don't know. I don't know how we lost that. I stand corrected. We can still lose. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're buying that. Yep, thank you. That's gonna help us. Uh, honestly, okay, I'll buy it. I don't mind. Um, ooh. All right, now I feel a lot more confident. <laughs> I mean, I felt confident before, but now I'm feeling like a lot, a lot more confident. A lot, a lot more confident now that my healing is up by 20%. Ooh, whoa, 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 hold up, pause. I've never seen this build before. This is a crazy build. Double vampiric armor and double uh puppies on double moon shield with double upper tinger and four Mikos with double magic torch. Not to mention it's the armored uh, puppy here. Oh my gosh. What? a build this is probably because you got stone badge that's real like that's probably why you just got stone badge at the beginning of the game and you just rolled with it wow what a build i kind of want to slow this one down what a freaking build this is like crazy but he's gonna be generating mana like crazy you should have gotten a mana orb in there for at least one mana orb proc you know what i mean i still think we win oh yeah we're definitely winning yeah, we're definitely winning, but that's, he had a crazy build though, to be fair. A really, really cool, crazy build. Dude, I don't need another mana orb. I generate more than enough mana generation right now. I, ooh, Miko on sale. We're gonna put you, for you to be 40. I could put you here, actually. Yeah, we'll put you there. Cause I could just put these at the top like that and that just makes it 40. That's good. Damn it, I wanted that. I wanted the half, the cap. I should have gotten a cap. Okay, we're selling pigs here because this is last round. Okay, um. Uh, did I roll? I might be able to find something for three gold. I did. A lovers and a protection perf. Should I get the lovers? Yeah, I'll get the lovers. I don't mind. Yeah, I'll get the lovers. Um, this can go... Uh, nowhere. Yep, yeah, nowhere. We're, we're keeping you there. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping you there. And then we'll just do boom and boom. Here's the build. Here's the freaking build. It was a really good game. A really, really, really good game. And we got a pretty solid build as well. I'm sad we lost to that Falcon Blade situation. Kind of want to rematch now, but... Ooh, an ice build. Ice builds are really good. Really, 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 really good. Double ice armor and double book of ice. He could have positioned this better. He could have positioned this way better with his uh, books of ice, but yeah. Still though, and he's got artifact. Yeah, still though. Really, in any ice build, ice build in general, just scary. Hopefully we can generate enough heat though to counteract his ice to heal because <laughs> that's kind of what we need to do is heal um we kind of are i mean we are counteracting his ice we just need to generate a lot more heat right now 100 and something critical procking that crown is pretty solid though to be fair 
we're kind of at regular speed. <laughs> we're, we're just at regular speed. Okay, we should win. We should win. We just met the ice. Yeah. <laughs> Counteracting the ice. That, there you go. That's one way to... You, you want to counter to an ice build? Have a heat build, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. Literally one for one. Almost one for one. We caught up, though. We, we definitely caught up. Um, but yeah, that was still a good game. Still a good game. Hitting us for like 160 damage criticals. And we just heal it right back. Not to mention crown procking was really good, too. But yeah, there we go. Freaking unhealing build. I'll take that W. Really good game. 18 and 4. Really, really good game. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, love you guys. And yeah, see you guys next time.